My name is Tomasz from Frames Magazine, and uh, it's time for another Frames Photo Deep Dive. My today's guest will be Stephen Smith, and we will be talking about this photograph of his. I hope you will enjoy it. Stephen, welcome. Uh, another Frames Photo Deep Dive. Today we'll be talking about your photograph your portrait of Philip. Um, I showed the photo before in the introduction. Before we dive into the photograph, uh, as usual, if you could share just a couple of, of words, you know, about yourself, your photography with our viewers. Some people will know you from the Frames community already, but we can we can have some, some new viewers on the channel. So okay. ju just a couple of words. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I've been a professional musician, conductor, church musician, um, concert presenter for the, for the last 40 years or so, uh, but was interested in photography as a, as a child and a teenager and, uh, considered becoming a photographer at one time. And, um, in the last five years have re-intensified, rediscovered, re-intensified my, my work with uh, photography. And w what is the kind of photography you're enjoying the most these days? I um, I concentrate actually exclusively on analog photography, with um, with mainly mid, uh, uh, middle format and large format cameras and black and white film photography. I can see some very interesting photographic equipment in the background, but we, we will get to we will get to it later, maybe. Right? <laughs> Let, let's dive into the photograph. Uh, uh, we are talking about your portrait of, of Philip. Uh, I, I love the image. You know, I, I, I chose it, you know, up for, for our discussion and, and our talk here. You agreed. I love the image. Uh, I love the look of the, of the, of the person. You know, it's kind of, kind of intense look in his, his eyes. I have some questions about it, but I will, I will let you talk first. Uh, uh, to tell us the story, you know, be, be behind the image. What, where did you take it? What was happening around? When was it? And so on. Yeah, the story, um, it, uh, it was taken in 1978, probably. It's a very, very old photo. Uh, at that time, I had just finished studying um, music. I had a, had a degree in music and had had decided to to attend a small private photography school for a year um, and thought about becoming a photographer. So I was taking photographs of, of anything that moved or didn't. <laughs> um, that was my whole whole life. Uh, and this this uh, Philip is the brother of my my best friend in college. And um, they they came from a, a, a wealthy family. Their father was an industrialist, or or was involved in the, in, in building materials. And um, <clears throat> they had, there were four siblings. And at that time, I was living in the guest house of the estate. Mm -hmm. And Philip was was still living at home. And my best friend, his brother, was living in another house on the estate. And uh, so Philip would sometimes come by just to say hi or, or um, yeah, he was, a, he, was a, he was a special person, um, maybe troubled, maybe just introverted, maybe just intense. Um, I, I really don't know what happened afterwards, but I can imagine that he didn't have it easy in in his life because of mm. his nature. But he came by one day and um, t t to the guest house where I was living, and he came in. We were having a, a chat, and I said, "Let me take your picture," and I did. Um, it was I, I found the contact sheet. It, it was <laughs> the last picture on the roll. I took one shot. That was it. Okay, so you know, like what, what I find fascinating about this por portrait, I would say, right? And um, and I was actually trying to to figure it out. Is 
I was I was wondering, was it a staged, you know, post portrait, or was it a sp- spontaneous snap where he just happened to to be looking into the, into your camera? I, I couldn't figure it out. There's somewhere on the fence, you know, somewhere in between those two 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 kind of images. Do you remember? Did did you intentionally ask him to pose for you, look into the camera? Well, I said, um, I said, let me take your picture, and I got the camera, and and uh, he was sitting there where he is in the picture, and um, and I said, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, let me look, and I looked at him, and that's just the way he was. So it was, he knew I was taking the picture. He agreed to do it. He waited maybe a half a minute until I got ready to to shoot and uh but that was basically where he was in the conversation so it's half between post and spontaneous and i can imagine him knowing you at the time he he was familiar with the fact that you were already into photography and so on because th- there is also this one part of his you know look is also also this fascination with what i would say probably was the camera in your hands or whatever and you, he's like there is much tension in, in his, you know, sight. It's, there's much question marks or maybe wondering, you know, in, in his eyes. Yes, definitely. Because he was a person who was suspicious anyway and was filled with tension anyway. And um, actually, I was surprised that he agreed to be photographed. So there must have been his natural suspicion, his natural tension-filled personality and a fascination with the fact that he was now in front of the camera and being being uh, caught on film. Yeah. yeah, I think, I mean, listening to your story now, I, you definitely caught, you know, this, those, those sides of his character and personality in this one, one frame. Before our recording, as I usually do, you know, with, with my guests, I ask you, and this is a long time ago, so... I can imagine maybe you forgot a you know a couple of things, but what what do you remember about the uh, about the you know emotions or maybe uh, inspiration? What 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 made you ask him for you know him specifically to to take a, a, a photograph of him? What, I always ask my guests about those three reasons, right? For yeah. why do you think you you went for this shot? Why you decided to 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 try and capture him? Well, because number one, I um, was taking every opportunity I could to photograph people, and <clears throat> and I was always fascinated by him and his look and his his brooding, um, introverted character, uh, a very complex person and that all was visible in his face uh, so I was always always uh, fascinated by that and wanted to capture that and that day the light was 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 beautiful hitting him and it was just a, a moment a moment where he was semi relaxed in in our presence um, where a lot of elements came together I think well, I loved it picture are you happy with this portrait very happy it's it's been one of my favorites for all of these years um and i've i've always gone back to it and maybe even tried to emulate it in other in other photographs um you can see can i show you the contact sheet absolutely go ahead yeah if you uh so is that good yeah, oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, on the right hand side. Yeah, see uh-huh. here, these are all people who were in the house. Um, some are sitting on the same sofa that he was, and there's one of my cat Max up there <laughs> on my desk. But, um, as you can see, the other the others were not really successful, but. But this one uh, was successful, and it, I think it had a lot to do, like I said, with the lighting and also with just his person. 
when it comes to portraits, you know, in general, so we have the the character, you know, intensity of the look, you know, the face features of the person. Um, then we have the light. So, you know, all the technical considerations, exposure and so on. Uh, what, what would, which of those, which of those elements would you say is the most important when, when it comes to creating a, a, a strong, you know, captivating portrait? Um, I think, and, and, and I say this because in the last year I've been trying again to get to, uh, into portraiture and trying to discover the secret of it. And I haven't cracked it yet. Um, but I'm, I just, just yesterday I, I was in the, in the dark room this morning, actually making contact sheets of, of a session I had with two, two, uh, with, with three, um, people in the last couple of days. And I, the more I do it, the more I think it has the most to do with the relationship that you can establish between yourself and the sitter. Um, because I look at some some uh, pictures I've made and I say, ah, did she not open up to me? Or was is she a person who will not open up ever and always has a mask on? Um, it's always trying to get them to, to drop their their PR mask and let uh, a, just a flash of their personality come through at the moment when you can click the shutter. Yeah, well, in, in this particular case, and I don't know, Philip, obviously, but from what you are saying about him, maybe even this, the fact that he never w was completely dropping down his mask, you know, it's also some, there's also a tension. There's so many like elements that are in play here, kind of in tension with each other. And I think it, I think you cracked the secret of portraiture with this one. Definitely. So it could be, or it could be that, that, that was his permanent mask always. And, and, and even then maybe I got a part of him that was real in that case. Yeah, definitely, definitely a, a, a great shot. Last question. It was not this camera which is standing behind you that you used back then, right? No, actually, it's, actually, it was this one. I still use it. Uh, Yashica, Yashica D. Oh, wow. So it's a, is it a, a medium format or is it? A medium format. So it's a, a six times six millimeter negative. And um, it's got a uh, 3.5 lens, and I, w I was using Tri-X film, and so it, it was surely open all the way, which is why, or almost all the way, perhaps f4 or f3.5, yeah. which which makes the background, uh, of course. Uh, I mean, the, the, the quality of the shot is like many of us, you know, owners of digital cameras these days. I think we are getting jealous. You know, the contrast, the detail, the light capturing and everything. And I think this one that I, that, that you have is a scan of a silver gelatin print. Usually today I scan my negatives and then do post process, post processing in, um, in a program. On okay. The computer. But I think this one I worked on in the dark room until I got it looking like I wanted to have it. And then I scanned the paper silver gelatin print. Wonderful. Steven, thank you so much. Good luck with your, you know, upcoming portraits. Uh, thank you. Make sure you get back to this secret, which you, you know, yes. revealed and found. His, so I think I, you are on a good track. That's for sure. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Steven. Yeah, Talk soon. Great talking to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.